All right, so two-step problems. Now, two-step problems entail this. We no longer are just going to be starting at mass and going to moles or going from there. We're going to be doing two steps where we go from mass to moles, then down to particles, or particles up to moles, over to mass. Two steps. It's not anything challenging. It's not anything difficult. Uh, and then, actually, tomorrow, we'll be incorporating volume into the mix. So then we'll be going, you know, it'll just kind of be anything's fair game then. But today we're just staying with mass and particles. Tomorrow, volume. And then after that, we'll, you know, we'll see. So here's the deal. Today, you have to do everything you did before, except just make it two steps instead of one. Now, let's actually start this. So we've got number one here. This is on uh, SP11. Now, we've got 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of CA. Now, this wants you to go from atoms. And if you read this, it wants you to go from atoms to grams, which is mass. So, your steps are basically going to be converting to moles, then grams. Because if you look here, this is why the chart actually is helpful. You are starting with atoms. That is a particle. So you're going to go up to moles. Okay? So what I want you to do, you're actually going to draw this out still. It's the last day. After this, I actually won't make you do this. So, do we have to do it for every single one? Yeah, there's only, there's not that many problems today. Yeah, but they're double, so it's the same. Oh, deal with it. No, you're doing it all in, it's two steps, but you're doing it all in the same line. It's, it's actually not that much more work. So, we are actually drawing the whole thing out. We're going particles to moles, then we're going over to mass. So, first step involves dividing by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, and then we've got atoms per mole. Then as you go from moles to mass, you follow the chart. It says multiply by the gram molecular mass. Can someone look up calcium and tell me what calcium's mass is? 40.08. I mean, I mean I, wow, I actually had that memorized. Huh? I'm getting more and more of these down every day. Now, again, that is off the periodic table. 40.08 is off the periodic table. It is calcium's mass. I'm assuming I don't have to show that like this moment anymore. So, this actually, so that, I mean, that's the hard part. This part's now pretty simple. Yeah, tool. Yeah, this is it, last day. I won't make you do them for gas volume. I told you not to start yet. I told you to wait because I was going to make you do it. Now, this part... The whole fact that it's two steps, and you're not doing it in two separate steps, so you're doing it on one one line, okay? Just like when we were doing conversions where I wanted you to like stop from like millimeters to kilometers and stop at meters, you're doing the same thing here. So you're going to go 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of calcium. Now, we know first step, it says to, we're going up, divide by, 6.02 times 10 to 23rd atoms. You know atoms goes down here, so it makes sense. Now, what are we uh, what are we converting to here? What's the first step? Atoms to moles of calcium. So you write that in there. Now, you use your conversion. You know that one mole of calcium is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of calcium. Now, you don't do this math yet. You don't start a new line. I want it done all on the same line. The reason being, again, eventually we're going to be having probably four of these right next to each other. And if you're not doing them in four separate steps, it's just everything on the same line, please. That way the, the units canceling out makes a lot of sense that way. So moles of calcium, what has to go down here then? Moles of calcium. And this makes sense because now it says moles to mass. You're going to multiply by the gram atomic mass. So what are we going to? What's our goal here? Atoms. Going to mass. So we put grams of calcium. We know our conversion is one mole is equal to 40.08. 
So, all you do now, well, also, before you do anything, actually, make sure your units cancel out. So, atoms of calcium cancels, moles of calcium cancel, you're left with your goal of grams. That's step one. Now, you can do this math. Remember, you multiply those two together, you'll divide by whatever's on the bottom. Realistically, you don't even have to here. What's the answer I'm in? What, who? Who just said? Me. Oh, yeah, what? No. What, wait, do you mean the units or the numbers? This, no, the first one, if you haven't noticed, in this packet, the first one's always really, really simple, and you can do it in your head, simple math. The numbers rarely will ever work out like this. This is just to make it easy for you, okay? So, the, to actually do this, if you got anything other than 40.08 when you type this into your calculator, you didn't, you didn't put parentheses around stuff, okay? you got to remember that. So uh, well, yeah, because think about it. This divided by that 1 times 40.08. So, you get 40.08. Your units are grams of calcium. Without all of that, the number, the unit, and the identification of the element, it would not be correct. You need all three parts. Otherwise, it's not good. So, that is a two-step problem. Are there any questions? Yeah, hang it, hang it. She raised her hand more. Well, it kind of gives, like, like you're, you're trying to get, like, molecules. Like, you, you want to get from the final answer, like, getting some molecules. Would you have to set the element aspect, like, the CA? Yes, like molecules of calcium, or, yeah, or whatever it is. Do you have to keep on writing the CA, CA? Yeah, you do. I don't care. Oh, sorry. Shafiq, what? Pardon? Generally, no. No, I know what you're saying, and no. It's going to depend on, that. the math just worked out nicely. It won't usually be that. 